All right. Uh, well, so talk to us about how clients generally find you. I mean, I know advertising advertising is basically impossible. So what what does that look like for you right now? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I am shadow banned on Twitter. Um, so that means it's near impossible for someone to find me. Um, I have been deplatformed on Instagram. I had to get a brand new cell phone mm-hmm. <laughs> in order to even get my fourth Instagram account because I was device banned previously. Yep. Um, so I really depend on ad sites. So there are some websites that promote dominatrices um, like Trist and Arrows. So I advertise there. Um, but honestly, most of my traffic comes from Google. Um, mm. I have <laughs> mastered SEO. <laughs> I'm like a super tech dork and I love websites. So I have maximized my website and I'm always on the first page of Google results for Texas or Austin Dominatrix. So that's how most people find me. Yeah, no, I, I think that's how you and I were introduced. <laughs> uh, and I that has been perhaps the most eye-opening experience in this entire show for me over the past few years is just recognizing how tech-savvy the the sex work community generally is. I mean, yeah. did, did you find one because of the other? Like, did you have to learn all of this tech stuff or was that natural for you? No, so uh, prior to becoming a dominatrix full-time, I was actually a support engineer, and then previous to that, doing technical support. Um, So I just have a technical background in general. Um, And then, you know, once I became a dom, you know, it definitely helped (laughs) (laughs) to understand things, you know, SEO, how to write certain captions to boost, you know, my visibility to the best that I can. Um, So, yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, we don't have space to like unpack all of the stereotypes, all of the discrimination that's being faced by sex workers. But what what are some of the problems as you see them right now? Is there much opportunity for advocacy work here? Or what do you imagine uh, people who would like to see positive change could do? I think that's so hard, you know, so... <sighs> It boils down to Visa and MasterCard and banking and for finances, you know, and... Can can you walk us through some of that? I think people may be sort of vaguely familiar with some of the push and pull and the OnlyFans story in particular, (laughs) but there's there's a lot there. Yeah, there is. So if you're a content creator or if you're on any adult site, whether it be OnlyFans or Loyal Fans or Clips for Sale or I Want Clips, just any site that is considered adult under the eyes of Visa and MasterCard is looked at under a microscope. Mm -hmm. Um, So when they see deposits from OnlyFans or clips for sale, your banking institution more likely than not is going to keep an eye on that. Um, It has led to several sex workers completely losing their bank accounts. Sure. Um, a Chase and Bank of America are notorious for that, even for withholding and seizing the funds. Um, you know, I know someone who lost over $10,000 in their bank account just because Chase was like, morality clause, you don't need our morals. Cool. <laughs> yeah, and so once I learned about that, I was like, well, I don't want that happening to me. Yeah. So I actually switched to a credit union, and I went through, I don't know how many terms of services, mm-hmm. reading line by line and doing searches for, like, escort, prostitution, porn, because those are like the biggest, like three keywords that they use in their terms of service and morality, um, just to make sure that they didn't have, you know, saying, hey, you can't take deposits, you know, from these websites, because, yeah, they will absolutely shut your account down. And cash apps are also cashing along to that. Mm -hmm. So cash app, Venmo, anything really, they're starting to catch on that, you know, people are paying each other for porn and other services for that. And they will cross reference social media, you know, they will do a search and see if anything is tied to sex work. Mm -hmm. And if it is, they consider it evidence and they will shut you down. And I don't imagine there's much of a review process or opportunity to have your day in court. (laughs) I wish. 
wish. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Um, no, you know, there is the adult performers... Uh, I don't actually know what it stands for off the top of my head, but APAG Union, it's an adult performer union, and they are actually trying to fight um, class action lawsuits against Instagram for shadow banning and against Wells Fargo because the president of APAG, Wells Fargo, just shut her account down (laughs) after, like, 15 years of, like, being their customer, having, like, perfect track record, nothing illegal, of course shut down out of nowhere Mm -hmm. they said you have until x day to take your money out and get everything settled and you're no longer welcome here and that is so stressful because you're given like 30 days to go and open a brand new bank account and then change all of your deposits and it's like those are only like two bullet points, but they're incredibly exhausting. I mean, yeah, Jesus, just changing banks is stressful enough without having it to is. be terrified about what's going to happen at the next one and, you know, yeah. that ticking clock and everything else. Exactly. And it's just like, is this deposit going to be flagged for some reason? You know, are they going to think it's weird that this is $2,000? You know, it's everything is looked at under a microscope. And a lot of people are now, or have been, I guess I should say, you know, doing LLCs. Mm. So that way, you know, you can incorporate as a business and pay yourself as an employee. So there are some workarounds, um, not so much for, like, escorting and prostitution under the law. You know, there's not much you can do about yeah. that at that time, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know that crypto is a is a very sticky wicket, but, I mean, is that filling in the gaps for some people? Is that a, a meaningful aspect of the community here? Um, to some, yes. Yeah, I would say so. Um, there's even a website called Spank Pay that I really like, and they're sex work friendly. They're specifically for adult content creators, and it's they allow crypto. Um, but the client base just really isn't there. Um, most clients, they're, it's all like Cash App. <laughs> they're just obsessed with Cash App. So it's one of those things where I have to say every single time, no notes. Do not include sure. notes. Because there will be some person who will be like, for session deposit. And I'm like, like, way to incriminate us, right? And then I'll send it back at that point and be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, we're done. Mm. Um, because I don't want to get my cash app shut down and have to deal with all that. It's just a constant thing you have to think about always. Yeah, I mean, it, it truly sounds exhausting. I, I I recognize that sex work kind of only gets in the news for the, the splashy headline and, and a mm-hmm. lot of the wrong reasons. Like, very rarely do I see uh, the term sex worker in a headline and not immediately go, oh, okay, where are we going? <laughs> But there is a a meaningfully underrepresented minority of people who are incredibly vulnerable here. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And I think that, you know, trans and, you know, people of color, you know, really face that the most. Mm -hmm. Um, It it's just plays into racism in society and them being treated poorly. Um, Even me as a Latina, you know, some Some people say I'm white passing a lot of my Cubans and like when I go back home like everyone in the street knows like I'm Latin, you know, but for all intents and purposes, you know, I'm white passing, especially online. So every now and then when I mention, oh, I'm Latina, I'm Cuban, you know, my Cuban curves or whatever, I will lose an insane amount of followers. Mm. so, yeah, it's kind of hard to teeter that line with yeah. what you even say with that. Yeah. Sure, and, and I don't want to play into any harmful stereotypes, yeah. but it's worth acknowledging that uh, folks who are in the margins are overrepresented in sex work circles. I mean, folks yeah. with disabilities, folks who maybe wouldn't otherwise be able to earn a living through a traditional 40-hour-a-week yeah. job. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of people who, you know, you mentioned trans folks are significantly over, overrepresented in these worlds. And these are folks really living in the margins without a whole lot of societal support. 
Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of the time, sex workers, you know, were the butt of the joke, you know. Yeah. Oh, no, they end up dead, but no one wants to do anything about it, you know. And like you mentioned, you know, people have disabilities to where they can't work 40 hours a week. I mean, I have epilepsy, and trying to work a 40-hour-a-week job is just... It's just absolute torture for me. Mm -hmm. So with sex work, you know, you have the luxury of being your own boss, creating your own schedule. You work around how you feel, you know, especially with clients, assuming that they're understanding, you know, you can say if needed, hey, I'm having a bad day, let's reschedule. Mm -hmm. um, so having that flexibility is just... Uh, priceless, really. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I don't have any firm numbers on this, but I think folks would be shocked to know uh, the percentage of OnlyFans accounts that are held by people with MS, with lupus, with like some condition oh, yeah. where they are, you know, able to live fulfilling lives, but maybe don't have the ability to be consistent at a, at a nine to five kind of situation. And these yeah. are folks that are, are really getting shut out of our economy and are now having one of these last vestiges kind of pulled from them. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really unfortunate because sex work in and of itself is also a very saturated market, mm. um, especially with online work, you know. So if someone wants to get into online work, they're going to have to, I mean, it's a really, really Incredibly hard to break in. <laughs> uphill battle. Yeah, you know, it's there's so much saturation and with the shadow banning that you can't advertise yourself, you know, it, it's just a struggle. Mm -hmm.